Welcome to Pennington Place. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be up in the 50s today. Um, this is the video on the bucks that we have. Uh, the contest we're running, you name the rabbit, we draw the name, and then you get to choose the buck that the, um, that the doe goes with for our new genetic line. Um, just right up front, she's a New Zealand Red. This is her daddy. You can line breed. This is Banjo. Um, Banjo's a broken, a heavy broken red. Banjo! So this is one choice. You can line breed. If we keep her um, bred with the New Zealand, then that'll be a line. What we'll do is, is her first litter will keep a kit out of that litter and add it into our program. If we, uh, the person that wins chooses to breed with something other than a New Zealand, then that'll just be uh, purely for, for meat production. Banjo, that'll just be purely for meat production. So, um, but it's your choice. So this is Banjo. Beautiful, beautiful rabbit. We got him from Star City Rabbits, I believe, a couple years ago. He's been really good in our rabbitry. Makes beautiful babies, as you can see. Okay, this is Maddie. Maddie is a half brother to the doe that you're putting names in for. Um, Maddie is a beautiful red New Zealand. Uh, <laughs> he's got the nice big head. He's got a nice round body. He's he's good looking rabbit. Okay, this is Eamon. Eamon is a black New Zealand, a half brother to the doe that you're getting to name. Um, he's done really well in our program. He's a great buck. He's probably not quite a year yet, and look at the size on this boy. So he would be a good choice too. Okay, this is Peter. He's a white New Zealand, no relation at all to the doe that you're naming. Um, Peter's been with us a couple years now. He produces awesome litters. Um, if you mix him with the red doe, you're going to get white babies. You're going to get red babies. Chestnuts. Maybe some steals. chestnuts, a few steels. It, it just depends. He's a good looking boy. Okay, this is Kane. He's newer to our rabbitry. We got him from a breeder in Ada. He is a red, broken New Zealand. Beautiful boy. Um, we just added him. We just started using him, so um, it's yet to be seen exactly what he's going to produce. But uh, as you can see, he looks a lot like Banjo. He just has more white. Beautiful boy. Um, Non-related, obviously, to the doe that you're naming. So that is our lineup of the New Zealand choices that we have to breed her with. He's nosy. Just wanted to show you this buck. It's, it's a, a junior, very young buck. I'm definitely not in the running for breeding at this point because it's just way too young. But it's a heavy, broken, black New Zealand. Um, we're going to be keeping this one in the breeding program because we don't have any bucks that are broken, heavy, black like this. Um, do we have a name or anything yet, Michael? No, but we're going to wait and see how it develops and how it looks and everything yeah. before we actually decide to keep them. We usually make a decision to keep, keep them in the program once they hit about six months old when they're ready for breeding because that's when we're going to get a true telling of the body size and, and all that. But um, just wanted to throw him in there because he's a good-looking rabbit and I'm kind of pleased with, with the way he is. Okay, now I'll run you through the non-New Zealands. This is Mr. Big. Uh, Mr. Big's been with us a couple years. A proven buck. He does quite well. Um, I He's a Californian. I think he's absolutely beautiful. Him and Peter are my favorites. Please don't jump off the table. So we'll move and show you the other bucks we have. This is Bucky, another Californian. He's a young guy. Um, we added him to the rabbitry maybe not even six months to a year ago. Um, he's done quite well. Just remember that if we're going to breed the New Zealand red doe that you're naming to something other than a New Zealand, it will be for meat production only. This is Smokey Joe. Smokey Joe is an American chinchilla. Um, if you're going to choose for meat production line, then he would add a nice size in because she's a good size so we'd have nice size babies that grow quick um, beautiful rabbit when it comes to breeding though he's a little lazy it takes <laughs> quite a few attempts to get him to do the job but he is beautiful. okay this is our last buck this is Jordan he's a Flemish giant 
I'm not strongly recommending a first time mom to be bred with a Flemish giant just because we don't know how she's going to do um, as far as delivering and we need to give her body a litter or so um, advance notice before we added this big boy but that is a possibility if you wanted if you really wanted to breed her with him we could uh, breed her first with a different one of your choice uh, then we could try a litter or two down the line breeding with Jordan. Jordan um, his mate is Nina Flemish Giant same collar just lighter and her first litter there were 10 second litter there were 12 so they do have a lot of babies and as a first time mom for the doe that you're naming I'm not sure what her body can handle so this would be like a if you really wanted her with the Flemish that would be like a second a second breeding just to see how she does first time around so that's it for our does I hope you've enjoyed uh, our buck sorry about that hope you've enjoyed um, on the 16th we'll do the drawing and whoever wins gets to choose the buck for the new named doe that we have so good luck to everyone and uh, have fun with this we hope to talk to you later have a great day bye bye